The year was www.fakeyears.com in the realm of Thundersauce. The two-faced joke clown a Croc and Bummer began his tumultuous promo series for baby presidents. From a very young age, he was groomed just the way a proper poodle would be groomed. Shampooing, combing, nail clipping, and shaving the hair around the anus. All of these upkeepings would make him the perfect candidate for a later year of puppetry in the office that is all-encompassing. The beer batter fries that he ate as a child made him realize that beer could most definitely swing for the fences. The United States has conducted an operation that killed thousands of innocent men, women, and children. Fascism. Moving jobs and profits overseas. Socialized media. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. The United States has killed innocent men, women, and children. He would dream of the days of when he could use his unending charm to make people feel like a kitten who just had its prom. From the early years of growing up on a different continent, he learned the way in which to manipulate the masses without them knowing. He was very skilled at this, throwing around toiletries and signing up mothers to scorch their own children. They would do anything for him because he knew how to use the coded words and emphasize gestures to make people do what he wanted. Oh, what a manipulated mind he would create with a stroke of a stroke. Lester Looster and his frilly mother-in-law, the bigger engine that could, got together with the bummer man and began his feast training. This would later prove to be a sabbatical of bird nests, just the way he liked it. Why, oh why, was the Irish hymn of choice for the future Pinocchio? He knew he would rule in a world where feeling bad for certain people and not others would be the norm. Around the time when we all fell asleep, he met the man that would change his 3D realm existence forever, the fish pot himself, Henry Fistinger. He was a stark brute of a man, but only in the kindergarten version. In the real life version, he looked like a child who fell off his scooter and then later realized he had too much pine tar for lunch. <laughs> <laughs>